This is a tutorial of the WooCommerce product carousel by Limited Elements. To get started, drag the WooCommerce product carousel by Unlimited Elements into your Elementor widget. Right now it's showing posts, so instead of showing posts, we want it to show products. In post query, I'm going to change that into products. Right now it's showing all our WooCommerce products, and you can filter these depending on the conditions you want to show them in. You can include terms, exclude, and order these any way you like. You can also decide how many of these are supposed to show inside of the carousel. Right now it's maximum 10, but I have just four, so it's showing all the four. Let's jump back into general, and I'm going to take you over all of the settings that we have set up for you guys so you can make a customized WooCommerce carousel. Over here in the layout, we have different types of layouts. Now, you can just play around with these, but for example, Overlay means that only when you overlay over the item, it will show you the description and the content. Let's change this, for example, to another one. So for example, under overlap. So this is just a small overlap on the bottom part. Partial overlay means that it's partially overlaying. Now you can see because there's a lot of content inside the content, it's covering most of it, but inside of style, you can change the image height and you will see now it's partially overlaying the images and this is a really cool style. Now take in mind that any part over here you can turn on or off. So most cases this part down here, the content part won't be so high. For example, you probably might not want to show two buttons or maybe not no buttons at all. So you can play around with that. Let's jump back into content and see the next two styles. So reveal for bottom. This is just a nice reveal effect from the bottom part. A lot of people like using it. It's really trendy. And side by side means that the description will show on the side. Now you can see it's kind of squished over here and there's not a lot of room, but if you change the number of items to two, now it looks good and you can play around with this. This is a responsive field, so you can change it depending on the screen resolution and see what works best for you. Let's change it back to the default. I'm gonna go for under and let's change it back to three items, which looks good. And the margin between the items is the space between them. So I'm just gonna change the space between them to 50. Transition speed is how long the transition takes. So let's just make that slower so it won't be so annoying. And you have that transition interval, which you can make a lot longer. And now it will take some more time between each interval. You can turn off the autoplay overall with using this radio button. So I'm going to do that just so it doesn't move as I demonstrate. Inside of buttons, you can change the button text. So maybe you don't want to call this by now, but you want to write over here, learn more or get started. And you can play around with this, maybe change it to your language. You can turn on and off the button. So as you can see the add to cart button, what it does, just when you click on it, it directly adds it to the cart without going to the product page. The other button, the learn more button, goes to the product page and shows the description of the product. So I'm just gonna turn off the add to cart button and jump down to arrows. This is icons for the arrows. Let's jump into style and start going over all the settings over here. So as we said, we can change the image height and it adapts automatically. Content padding is for the padding over here in the content area. If I push this up, it will just add padding around the content area. This is very useful. You can change the content background if you want. I'm not gonna play around with this too much, but you can do that. I'll change it from the subtle gray background it was to a white one prices style so this is for the prices over here so if you want to them to be in one line you can change this into inline i'm going to leave, leave it in different lines item radius is for the border radius around the item so now you can see 
that the items are getting a rounded effect. Item border type, we can change the border type, of course play around with the width and give this a color. This just will style out your uh, items in a way so they can fit your design. And you can change the image type. This is really useful for when you have an image that has a white background and you don't want it to crop this way. So if you change it to contain, it won't crop at all and it will adjust automatically. But again, this is not for these type of images. It's more for type of images with a white background. Like for example, an iPhone that you've, you have transparent background, that will be perfect for it. So product name, we can change over here all the settings in the product. You can space it out. You can decide to hide it overall. For example, some people want to show only a price and a button or maybe just a button. So every element over here, you can turn on and off. And of course, all of the text, you can change the typography and the color. Again, for regular price, so sometimes you don't want the regular price and the sale price to be the same color. So I'm just gonna change, for example, my uh, regular price to gray and my sale price to red. And now you can see that stands out better. You can turn this off, of course, and again, space between. For the buttons, uh, you can change the colors. So let's just go for a red color. So it fits our website design. And button text, border if you need, radius if you want to make it rounded or not, and spacing to space this out. If you have two buttons, then it will space between them as well. Button padding, it's for adding padding. And you can change the button style from full width to auto width. What auto width means is that the button will be the size of the text. So if the text will be a bit longer, the button will be a bit longer as well. I really like full width because it makes it sort of consistent. Navigation arrows, you can play around with these. We have all the settings to do this. It's pushed out right now from the column minus 100. You can push them inside if you want with a positive value. You can partially do that. You can position them on the vertical axis wherever you want. For example, over here looks good. You can round them if you need to. And of course, change the sizes and the colors. Everything is editable. editable. And also in the navigation dots, everything is editable. So you can make the dots bigger. You can space them out, change the colors and the alignment. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video.